Hi guys, it's me, Melissa. Sorry I haven't been on in a while. I posted some videos um, from when <clears throat> that I had already pre-posted and I didn't get to the uh, the tarot study this week. Um, I have been very, very sick. Um, my gastro problems um, were out of this world. I was in the emergency room, um, just nonstop throwing up for about a week. So I didn't even eat anything. I threw up like seven hours straight. It has been just unbelievable. But I'm getting back to better, um, trying to eat and get my strength back. Um, so I figured today um, would be a good day to get some videos done. Um, so I want to do, I want to start with the wands, guys. Um, it is the Ace of Wands. Um, so let's start with that today. So here is the Ace of Wands. What do we see here, guys? We see the wand. We see that hand. It is the um, left hand extending out with the wand, with the clouds there. We have the green, the blue sky. Very promising card. All right, so let's, so the wands, what are the wands, guys? The wands are fire. Okay, so I always think of when I take the wand and go like, it produces fire to give you that magical, um, that magical element is how I think of it. Okay, the astrological signs are the fire signs, which are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Of course, the number is one for ace. The tree of life position is Kether, the sphere of divine light. The key meaning is enterprise, career, travel, and beginnings. A hand offering a single wand appears from a cloud. The Ace of Wands is the only card of the suit to show multiple buds, symbolizing new ventures. There are four leaves on one stem, and the two lower stems each have three leaves. A further eight leaves float around the wand, giving a total of 18. This may relate to the 18 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. I lost my spot. Which mean hope and, or meaning hope. The leaves are similar in appearance to the droplets of the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords, the Tower and the Moon. The scene below shows purple mountains, symbols of spiritual goals. A building... <clears throat> a fairy tale castle or a monastery is perched on the hill, signifying the ambition to attain a dream or a spiritual aspiration. The castle is isolated and protected by high walls and a tower, seeing the strong wand grasped before us. We may view it as a club held high in a gesture of protection in ownership of the land. In the valley, pure water flows. The blue, a color of true purpose. Three trees grow on the right bank, symbols of growth and fertility. Unlike the cultivated garden of the Ace of Pentacles, the landscapes of the Ace of Wands is natural and untamed. This Ace is a true pioneer venturing into wild new territory. In this sense, the card presents the gift of enterprise and adventure. As with the other ace cards and their symbols, the offering is made with the right hand, the wand held with the hand of giving, as opposed to the left hand, which is receiving. What did, I think I said the left hand. I'm not sure. <clears throat> the second gift of the Ace of Wands is the drive to succeed. We may have 
an enticing vision or prospect, but need the energy to make it happen. The card's element is fire, full of burning purpose. Just as the wand, if planted, will determinedly grow to, into a tall, strong tree. The card's tree of life sphere is Kether, for the divine light of God, or great spirit. In the Ace of Wands, this stands for the spirit of adventure. The Aces offer the pure energy of their suit as number ones. They represent oneness with the divine spirit or God. Indivisible, their energy is singular, strong, and purposeful. They are represent beginnings, impulses, and new possibilities in the most pure and obvious form. The upright meaning. The upright meaning of the Ace of Wands is auspicious for every aspect of your life. In a spread, it overrules any negative minor arcana cards close by. The Ace predicts new beginnings, enterprises, and invention, and often relates to work issues and projects. It's a happy card for creative work, too. With this Ace, you experience a flash of inspiration and know what do next to give form to your concept. As you conceive ideas, so the card works at a literal level as a phallic symbol for male fertility and starting a family. An additional meaning of the card is travel and adventure, particularly when it appears in a reading with the three or the eight of wands. In a reading, one ace brings focus on the life area according to the suit, which can set the theme of the reading. If two or more aces appear near each other in a reading, um, two aces means an important partnership, three, good news, four, excitement, beginnings, and potential. The reverse meaning. When the Ace of Wands reversed, it can show blocks to creative projects and delays to travel. In work, a project may be abandoned and po or po postponed due to poor management. In general, the card reveals a, a fast start. Plans need a rethink. In relationships, this card can reveal a lack of commitment from a man or time apart for a couple, usually due to work. And the woman finds herself waiting for the man. Another common meaning of the reversed Ace of Wands in reading is difficult conceiving a child, particularly if the card is close to the Three of Swords, the card for sorrow. Okay. So let's read the Rider Waite and see what the Rider Waite has to say. Okay, the Ace of Wands we want. Why am I on cups? We want the Ace of Wands. Let me find it, guys. All right, I'm having a hard time finding wands here. Okay, the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> this is the time to take positive action and go where no man or woman has gone before. Explore new territories, take initiative, be fearless, reach out to obtain your goals. Life is full of unknowns, but they don't have to hold you back from striving to achieve more. Um, some of the keywords would be action, Assertion, inspiration, energizing. For the reverse, it would be an ending, stuck, flat, or lackluster. 
<clears throat> when contemplating the meaning of the Ace of Wands, ask yourself these questions. Is giving up my is giving up in my best interest? How can I honor my passion? How can I be more creative? How can I be an inspiration to others? Is it time to initiate new experiences and adventures? The Ace of Wands, what it's saying to us. A journey of a thousand experiences. Start with one step forward. Take that first step into a brave new world. Consider unconventional methods for reaching your goals. Be inspired. Get creative. Take hold of your life and awaken to new ideas. Okay, the upright meaning, core meaning. You are coming out of the fog and getting a glimpse of a better future for yourself. Inspiration is motivating you to move in a positive direction. You have clear vision about your goals and have the energy to work toward them. Uh, in love, someone is holding out an olive branch to you. Don't be stingy with your forgiveness. Consider accepting an apology. Money. A potential investor is making you an offer. This is an opportunity to rekindle your financial fires and career. A bright idea puts you on top of your game. You might not be sure how to implement the idea, but you've got to make the makings of a ace adventure. Family. Your family is facing a new beginning. Moving into a new home, a new addition to the family, or a new phase in family structure is on the horizon. The core meaning of the reverse. You're stuck in a rut and it's leaving you flat and unhappy. Some of this deflection is in response to a few deals falling through at the last minute. You were banking on a good thing, but it went belly up. Resist feelings of discouragement. In love, you're dealing with a very stubborn partner. He or she is unwilling to see your perspectives. If you can't beat them, join them. Money. You were certain you'd get a thumbs up for a financial purpose, but you got disapproval instead. Thankfully, there's more than one game in town. Try again. In career, you want passion and value from your work. You can have that, but it might not come instantly. Stick it out and make the best of where you are now. Establishing a good track record will lead to better opportunities in the future. Family. Someone in your family has some very backward ideas about values. Approach him or her with love and patience. This member will eventually grow into a healthier understanding. So guys, the key meanings for the upright card would be action, assertion, inspiration, and energizing. For the reverse, it would be ending, stuck, flat, or lackluster. So guys, that's our ace. That's our ace of wands. And again, guys, I am so sorry I did not post on Wednesday. Um, like I said, I was very, very ill. Um, starting to feel better now. Starting to be able to eat again. And I just, I, I have these stomach problems and they just come once in a while. And I never know when they're going to come. And they usually last about a week. And um, this time I was very, very, very ill. Um, I sh probably should have went to the ER a lot sooner than I did. Um, but I'm back on track, hopefully. So give me a, um, keep me in your thoughts and keep me in your prayers, guys. Um, so I'm going to be doing a couple more of these videos today um, so that I have them in case something does happen. Again, I do have some videos up 
um, so that I can post them for you guys. Um, again, guys, if you have, are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning to my channel, welcome back. And please hit that subscribe button and that like button if you like the contents here. I love you guys and have a beautiful and blessed week.